Looking for the larva of butterflies and moths, in the UK at least, seems very much to be something of a dying art. There seems to be very little interest in the earlier stages of our Lepidopterous fauna. And there really should be more interest because although most people have seen hundreds of butterflies and moths over the years, the number of those species in which they've perhaps seen the caterpillar or the pupa of that species will be considerably smaller, a tiny percentage. But if you go looking for caterpillars, it's especially rewarding. I love it, I must admit, and I've got more into it this last year or two, to be honest. But there is one caterpillar that, despite looking for, if I was to look for it, I would never find in Nottinghamshire because it hasn't occurred here for well over a hundred years. And it's this one. This is the caterpillar of the lobster moth, a quite unique and extraordinary caterpillar that we have here in the UK. If there's ever a caterpillar that people really want to see and need to see, it's this one. If we were to go back over a hundred years, probably before the Edwardian and Victorian eras of UK history, you may well, had you been walking around Sherwood Forest here, you may well have chanced upon one of these. Chances are you would have been startled by the reaction you got. You wouldn't have been expecting this caterpillar to behave in the way it does. For those of you who can remember or have played the game Twister, you wouldn't stand a chance against one of these. These are real contortionists. They're absolute marvels. Now one of the most unusual things about this caterpillar, apart from everything, everything about this caterpillar is different and unusual compared to any other that we have in the UK. But if you were to really startle this caterpillar, those really long forelegs on this specimen are about an inch long. This one's just coming up for pupation now in a few more days. But those forelegs are splayed out and they vibrate as well. It's almost like jazz hands. It's a startling thing. And if you go to try and ever pick one of these up, be prepared for an aggressive caterpillar because these do have an aggressive tendency. They don't like being picked up. They don't like being touched a great deal. But the three that I have in captivity, which I was fortunate enough to be given as eggs a couple of weeks ago, have got used to being picked up. At least the branches picked up in much the manner as this. And I could have filmed all, filmed all this video at home. And there's a lot of it that I'll insert at some time. It has been filmed at home. But I wanted to come out and show you the kind of habitat that elsewhere in the UK, certainly those counties south of Nottinghamshire, this moth is very common. Or at least common. The caterpillar is rarely encountered, or at least it seems to be. And probably very few people have actually seen the larva of the lobster moth in the wild. Certainly no one in Nottinghamshire has ever seen it, unless they've done what I've done, obtained some livestock, I was given these, and then reared them through. But if you'd been an Edwardian or a Victorian or earlier entomologist to wandering around here and found this caterpillar, you may well have been the last person in Nottinghamshire to have ever seen one. Although, I think the only records that we have in the county all refer to the adult moth. 
It is just stunning. And you wouldn't think that was a caterpillar. most remarkable but it's also remarkable that the habitat that we're in is ideal for lobster moth ancient forest full of oaks one of the preferred food plants the other one is beech and there are areas of beech not far from where i am now and other woodlands in nottinghamshire would all seem to be perfect for this moth and yet despite there have been many records in the county of Norfolk. Hasn't been one here in over a hundred years. I don't know what it's like in neighbouring counties, but I imagine Derbyshire is pretty much on the same level as us in regards of records, and Lincolnshire may just be slightly more ahead. I don't know whether there are any recent records for Lincolnshire or indeed Leicestershire. But it's a shame that this moth isn't found here. It's a shame that it's not found in Nottinghamshire. And even if the moth was to become common, there is a chance that one day conditions will suit this moth to expand its range. And this caterpillar could become common if anyone was interested enough to bother looking for it. I think of all the caterpillars, this is the one caterpillar that I have wanted to see and dreamt of seeing since I was a child, when I first saw the illustrations for this. This really was one of those dream species. But it was a dream to see the larva rather than the actual moth. I don't think I'll be particularly impressed and find the moth that's memorable it's this which is memorable and impressive it's the most remarkable caterpillar we have here in the uk and the name lobster moth is derived from this not from the moth because it does have a crustacean like appearance it's yet another remarkable aspect of UK invertebrates. We should be celebrating species like this. We just need people to take a bit more interest in what's about them and in the reserves that people manage. Maybe we could have something like this back in Nottinghamshire rather than beavers and God knows what else. It's a stunning thing, it really is.